Hello everybody, we are back here on Prehistoric Hunt. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the brand new update that has it made some pretty crazy changes to the trophy lodge system in the game. Now, there's actually been so many things that have changed and improved and well, they have really taken their trophy lodge system to the next level. Now you guys may notice that not only did they uh, change the UI a little bit to give you some information on how to access your uh, inventory of placeable items and mounts and stuff like that, uh, but they also have added these little door things right here. So what you can do now is press E to investigate and you can actually unlock different rooms for uh, different amounts of credits. We're going to unlock all of them because this is really awesome. Let's get all of these unlocked real quickly. And let's go ahead and add one of each new room. So there we go. Look at that. It's basically a copy of what we've got right here, which is really awesome. It's super cool to see. And then even from here on, you could add more if you'd like to. This is the most insane trophy lodge system I've ever seen any video game create. This is just truly wild. Let's go ahead with this one. Look at that. That is just, that is so cool. I am a massive fan of what they've done with this trophy lodge system. Now let's go ahead and try the last room. There we go. Okay, so this is very similar to the other one except it's separated into two and it's got a fireplace. So yeah, this is a really awesome system. I am so happy that they went with a modular trophy lodge instead of uh, doing preset layouts like we've had in games like the Hunter Call of the Wild and the Hunter Classic. This is truly just a whole nother level of customizability and I can already tell you that a lot of people are gonna love this this is gonna be a very popular uh, trophy lodge system and I wouldn't be surprised if eventually other companies decide to do the same thing now it does look like because we have the other room we can't place the uh, large trophy hall anymore which makes sense because it actually would cover the entire side and we already had one room here so we definitely couldn't do that but this looks really nice it actually connects to this room as well Wow, I am truly blown away. This is so well done. And along with all of the brand new customizable rooms and being able to just add pretty much infinite amounts of them to your trophy lodge. And in fact, let's add another a trophy lodge hall. Look at that. That is so cool. But yeah, as I was saying, being able to add tons of rooms to your trophy lodge is only the beginning of things. We can actually add furniture now as well. So let's say you want to go ahead and add a couch into your trophy lodge. Well, you can do that now. You can place furniture wherever you'd like it to be. And uh, we're going to place this couch right here. And then let's place a carpet right in front of it. I think this is super cool. Like who would have even thought that this would be a possibility with a game like Prehistoric Hunt. Let's go ahead and purchase all the stands. These are going to be different trophy mounts. and. We will put one right, let's go right here, and then we will do another one right over here as well. Let's try to line it up perfectly. There we go. So now we could put our dinos on here if we wanted to. Uh, let's see, will the spino fit without the tail going through? Unfortunately not, so I'm going to have to replace that. Let's do the ankylosaurus. Eh, almost at it. There we go. We got a good looking little mount right there and another mount across from it. It's close enough. Obviously, it's tough to get them lined up perfectly since they're not pre-placed mounts. But honestly, that is just one of the sacrifices that I am willing to accept with the fact that we can place these literally anywhere that we want. And in fact, let's try one of the wall mounts now. I have yet to do the wall mounts, so let's go with a large uh, wall mount. Let's see. We will put it how about right here. That looks pretty good. Now let's see what we can put on this one. So it seems that we can put the Spinos or the Brachios. Let's go with the Spinosaurus. There we go. That looks super awesome. I love this. I am such a massive fan of this uh, Trophy Lodge system. When they were talking about it, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. This is pretty insane. And as you can see, you can purchase all of these other different uh, types of furniture as well. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the small round carpet just to place it next to this spino real quickly. Uh, that is going to be pretty cool. There we go. So now we got a carpet below our spino. That is amazing. I am loving this. This is just so cool. I think it's about time 
that we go out and try to find ourselves some more trophies to put in our brand new trophy lodge. I mean, we've got so much room now. We can get so many more trophies and display them here in the lodge and have pretty much infinite room to expand it more. Now, there is one thing I did want to check real quickly. I think we might have hit the outer limits here. So maybe there is some type of limitation because I did notice that over here it's just regular doors now. Yeah, so it looks like we can't expand further this way, but we can still expand further that way and in the opposite direction as well. So maybe it's not infinite expansions, but there's definitely a lot of expansions that you can add. And I believe you can remove them at any time as well. So that's also pretty nice. Uh, let's see if there is any specific way you have to do that. Um, I, I don't know. I guess uh, I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is how you do it. If you want to remove something or if you want to remove the rooms that you've done, you can click reset. And I believe it just removes all of the expansions that you put in there. I don't believe it takes away the trophies. I believe those do stay, but it will just reset the lodge to the original state. So there is a way to undo stuff if you're not a fan of it when it comes to adding the new rooms at least. So that's cool. That's that's good to know. We're probably gonna end up doing that because uh, yeah, I was kind of just dropping stuff down to show you guys. I'll design this lodge the way that I actually want it a little bit later. But anyway, let's uh, jump into some actual hunting. And it looks like the first uh, trophy of the day is a pteranodon. Provided we can hit it. There we go. One shot into it. I feel like there might be more sway when I'm turning, actually. That is very interesting. I don't remember that being as uh, noticeable of a thing. Well, we got it down regardless, but I definitely think there's a little bit more sway than what there used to be. At least uh, when you're rotating it, it seems like there's more. I feel like the sights don't line up as quick as they used to. Uh, even when I'm holding my breath, so... That's uh, very interesting to say the least, but that's our first kill of the day. Let's uh, see if there's any contracts that we can real quickly accept. So we got a pinpointed dino one, we've got a brachio one, a giganotosaurus trophy one, and a tranquilize for ankies, which I don't actually have it on me at the moment, so I don't think we'll worry about that one. Or may maybe I do. Okay, I actually do, so let's go ahead and accept that one as well. Oh my gosh! Is that what I think it is? Is that an albino pteranodon? No way! If that's an albino pteranodon, that is so cool! Oh my gosh, how are we gonna get it? How are we gonna get this thing, though? It's going across the water! That looks like an albino, though! I think we have found an albino pteranodon! Oh my gosh, I hope this thing comes back. If it's gonna stay over there, that's very unfortunate. But I think it should come back over here. I've noticed the pteranodons tend to fly over the water and then a little bit later they'll come back over so we might just wait it out. I think we'll just wait here and see if we can get it to come back. Well here's a pteranodon. I don't know if it's the same one. I, I don't think it is but we at least know that they're coming back over. The question is will we see the same one? I, I hope he's not gone forever. That looked like an albino although I, I guess it could just be the lighting as well. Man, it's so tough to tell until you get close. Let's just hope that it does end up flying over to us. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and drop a couple shots into this Brachiosaurus right here. Get this guy down real quickly since he's just chilling. And just like that, four shots and it's dead. Let's uh, do a quick look around to make sure that that uh, beautiful Pteranodon isn't flying over. It seems like it hasn't come back, so we should be good to grab this. Let's fill the contract. That is a, a gold Brachiosaurus for our mission. Well, here comes a Pteranodon. I don't know if it's the Pteranodon, though. But we do have one of them coming over. And it looks like it's flying right to us. You know, maybe it wasn't an albino that we saw. I, I suppose that's always possible. Because this one definitely is not. And we're also out of uh, stamina, so that's that's a problem. 
Don't think we're gonna hit this again. Wait a second. Oh, oh, this is it. This is the one. This is our albino. There it is. It was an albino. Oh my gosh. We got it. Yes, let's go. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Albino Pteranodon. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh, I can't believe that. I, I For a second, I thought maybe we were wrong and it wasn't actually albino, but it definitely is. Is this going to be our first ever legendary rank trophy or is this just going to be a diamond? Diamond is pretty much the minimum I've ever seen the rares score. Because in this game, you do actually get a bonus for it being an albino. You get a bonus towards the score. Same for melanistic. So, most of the time, they score diamond unless you just drastically mess up your shots. But getting legendary is like the ultimate score. Can we get it? It's a diamond, but that's still so good. Oh, that is still so good. Let's tax this beautiful, beautiful pteranodon. I, I can't believe that we actually found one today. I was really expecting to just go into this, uh, have trouble finding things for the new lodge and having to do a couple episodes just to get a good trophy to put in it, but we got an albino pteranodon. That is so awesome. And they look so cool. And now we've got an albino to go with our melanistic pteranodon as well, so that makes it even better. I'm actually gonna accept that Carno contract because they did a rework to the Carnotaurus's model in uh, this update. So if we can find a Carno, that would actually be really nice uh, because I would like to get a look at the brand new models for them. Because from what I saw in the like preview image that they posted, they look pretty good. Jeez, we have a ton of Brachios here. You know, I think we got to take out a couple of them. It would feel wrong if we just let them live. Let's uh, try to take out these over here. Try to take them down in as few of shots as possible so that we can get the others. Four shots and that one's down, giving us time to take out the rest. Let's try some weird angles on this one and see if it works. I don't know if that's going to take it down. I mean, now that it's going broadside, we maybe could get a shot or two in there. There we go. That should do well. Should be just one or two more shots, and I imagine it'll go down. Yeah, there we go. One straight to the chest on the third Brachiosaurus. Could have even been near the heart, so I'm hoping that we'll get a heart shot on one of these. Three shots. Four shots. Looks like once again it's going to take five to get this one down. Yeah, five shots. But I mean, three Brachios down in a pretty quick amount of time. Can't complain. That one is a gold scoring 246. And Brachiosaurus number two is also a gold, but this one was a small scale, so it must have just barely made gold. I'm guessing the shot distance probably helped quite a bit with that one. And for the third Brachiosaurus, it is another gold. Once again, another small scale as well. Uh, let's see, this one was a male. Actually, the lowest scoring one of all, though, so that's kind of wild. We, we kept hitting the spine, apparently. You know, that's interesting. I, I wouldn't have expected those to be spine shots, but I, I guess we were just a little bit high on that one. And in fact, I think the last one we had a bunch of spine shots as well. What is going on with our aim? So we just accepted a mission for Attract Carno, and I think we're going to head over in that direction. As like I said, I really want to see what the new models are like. They seem to be a lot better just from the screenshots they posted. But I'd love to see one in game, and hopefully we can make this one a rare if possible. But uh, with our luck today, I, I don't think we're going to be getting any more rares. We already got ourselves an albino pteranodon. I, I wouldn't expect to be getting more than one rare in one hunt. I've never seen that happen before. But I suppose anything is possible. But the rares in this game do seem to be pretty hard to find. I've killed hundreds of dinos since they released them and only found three. So definitely like maybe a 1 in 70 or 1 in 100 chance of getting one of these things to spawn on your map. It uh, definitely seems like they're rare.
a lot more rare than the kind of just like normal rare variations because in prehistoric hunt there is the rare variation which is essentially an uncommon and then they have the albino and melanistic variation for a total of three different uh, skin variations on each of the dinosaurs not including the common and uh, I believe the normal rare is just oh that is oh my <laughs> well, as I was saying I believe the normal rare is approximately like a 1 in 20 or 1 in 15 chance of finding it and then albinos and melas definitely seem like they're closer to 1 in 70 or 1 in 100 and oh my gosh that is this is just certain death I'm getting out of this area gosh that is just that is not what you want to see when you're walking along a cliffside like that is an insane drop yeah we're gonna avoid this I I don't want to fall uh, we actually got a crate over here so let's go collect that real quickly let's see what the crate has in store for us it is an energy pack wow that's actually awesome oh we don't have enough room for it oh no well is there anything else we can do I mean we can use the health pack and then grab this but oh no that's a Rex that's a T-Rex oh no this is not what I expected to happen Oh my gosh. Don't see us. I, I want to kill it, but I, I want to wait till it's farther away so I can get more shots into it before it reaches us. I don't know if we hit it. Maybe. It's so tough to tell. I think it got away. Well, it seems like the Rex is gone, so we have survived just a little bit longer. Let's uh, go back to that crate and finish picking stuff out of it, because I, I think we definitely can take something. I'm just going to have to drop a little bit of uh, some of the other stuff I've got on me. Honestly, arrows are so cheap, I can probably just drop these. We can drop, like, half of them, probably? And then I think we should have enough room to pick up some of the stuff out of this crate. Because I would especially like this energy pack and gosh item won't fit I wonder why like what is what is holding us back is that okay there we go that is good enough there and then we can also get the 700 ammo as well as the pistol ammo actually the pistol ammo won't fit either well we got the 700 ammo at least so I, I suppose that's something gosh these randoms just come up out of nowhere I'm assuming that one's gonna swoop us Oh my gosh, hello there. That is way closer than I thought that a Pteranodon was going to be. But we got it down two shots to the chest stomach area. And actually, I think one of them might have even hit the wing. But regardless, it's gone down. We can now see what this guy is going to score. That thing came out of nowhere. I swear, sometimes in this game, the Pteranodons are some of the most stealthy little dudes of all time and then just out of nowhere they'll screech at you when they get close luckily we saw it before it screeched or else that would have been a proper jump scare moment but we did just get ourselves a really nice gold pteranodon all right here's the moment of truth we are approaching the carno let's try to get close enough to attract it so we can get a couple shots from the 700 into it and get it down i'm very eager to see what the new carno looks like in game okay it's incredibly close now it should be like right on top of us. I went ahead and popped the energy drink so that we could get over here quicker before it ran away. There it is. There it is. That's a hit. Let's reload before it gets over here and then sink two more into it as it's about to attack. I think that's going to be our best bet to getting it down fast. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, that was almost bad. It's a good thing that we had the revolver as a backup because uh, I think we missed one of those 700 shots. Yeah, that looks so good. That definitely looks better than they used to. Definitely looks nicer. A little bit more detail on the actual scales. Yeah, I like that. Overall, that's a pretty noticeable upgrade. Let's see what it scores. It is a gold rare. Ah, oh, man. I would have liked to have kept this, but 
We're gonna fill the contract for those 200 coins. That way we'll have some coins to unlock all of the other stuff that came with the Trophy Lodge update. And uh, try to get all the different pieces of furniture and mounts and things like that. And speaking of the Trophy Lodge, here we are back in the lodge looking at our brand new Albino Pteranodon. Now unfortunately with these very uh, low flat mounts that we have in the game now, uh, the tips of the wings kind of clip through the floor. But honestly, I'm okay with that because it prevents the head from going through the ceiling. And uh, personally, I would rather the head stays uh, unclipped and the wings are a little bit clipping into the floor than the other way around. I, I think this is going to be good. But this is where this guy is going to stay. He's going to be in this room that we just added that we were kind of messing around with a little bit ago. And I think that looks really good. Now the question is, do we put any furniture around him? I think that we might want to buy something new. Let's go ahead and buy one of the tables. There's a large table here. Let's do that. I think that's going to look good. Yeah, that'll definitely look really cool. So let's kind of line this up. Just like that. So now we got a table right next to our pteranodon and i think we can even purchase a chair to go there as well and just like that we've got a table with three chairs ready to uh look at the brand new albino pteranodon man i love this i, I love the customizability with these trophy lodges it's just so cool that you can actually place furniture wherever you want in it as well as expanding the individual rooms like that is just so cool it's such a cool feature to a game that I've been very impressed with recently. It seems like they are really moving in the right direction, trying to make this game as good as it can possibly be, and they're doing a great job so far. I really look forward to future additions to this game, as I think they're probably gonna be pretty crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this first look at the brand new Trophy Lodges in Prehistoric Hunt, as well as our very first Albino Pteranodon. We now have three rares, two Albinos, and one Melanistic, with uh, two of those actually being Pteranodon trophies. We have the Mela and the Albino for the Pteranodon now, as well as our Albino Brachiosaurus. So let's continue on grinding, and hopefully we can find some more stuff in the future. But until the next one, if you guys are brand new, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you think of the customizable trophy lodges, and if you think there's anything that they can improve, or if you think other games should implement this system as well. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!